want most for our children? What did our parents want for us? Isn't it happiness? Martin Seligman, a pioneer in positive psychology, breaks happiness into three measurable components. Pleasure, engagement, and meaning. Even in the 1800s, the great Mark Twain got this one right. He once said, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. Isn't that why our way of finding purpose and ultimately pleasure, engagement, and meaning? So in an effort to help our children find their why, their purpose, and their happiness, we can build them a launch pad for life. Now, there are three very important elements and critical elements to building this launch pad. And the first and most important is to discover what inspires your child. Inspiration is like the fuel for the rocket. Without it, that rocket cannot take off and soar. The root of inspiration means to breathe in. When you're inspired by something, you can't stop thinking about it. It consumes you. You talk about it all the time. To find it in your children, all you need to do is observe what makes their eyes big. What do they talk about all the time? What do they not want to stop doing? That's inspiration. I have four children. My eldest, Roman, really didn't find his true inspiration till he was in college and acquired a job with Radio Shack selling cell phones. He learned that his inspiration was that sale, that art of the sale. What inspires your child? What inspires you? Now, the second critical element in building a launch pad is to identify your child's talents. Talents are like the guidance system for the rocket. They, they help navigate through space and get it to its destination. Talents to us are an innate competency that we use to navigate through life and get things done. Now, we all have access to all talents, but there are certain ones that we wire our brains to really use a lot. Now, there are several ways to discover your child's talents. One way is just to observe what is their consistent and reoccurring behavior, thoughts, and feelings that they use in life. Friends of mine have developed a card game called The Dynamizer, that you play with your child, and it elicits their natural talents. And then you can have a discussion about them. Now, there's also written assessments, and therefore, when your child gets in their later teens and beyond, there's Standout by the Marcus Buckingham Company. There's Strength Quest and Strength Finder by the Gallup Corporation. There's U-Cipher by TAI Corporation. And Strengthscope by the Strengths Partnership. And you know something? There's something new, too. If you want to know your child's or your own innate, predetermined behavior and moods, there's now a genetics test. Lauren, Jono, and Dr. Muhammad have developed in Canada. Let's go back to my son. You know, he had that inspiration for that art of selling. Well, guess what his talent was? He could persuade anyone into anything at any age. In fact, I promise you, at the age of four, he would have been fantastic used car salesman. <laughs> what are your child's talents? What are yours? And the final element in building this launch pad for life is to develop skills. Skills are like the structure of the rocket itself. 
It's the way we add value to others and to ourselves. Now, there's two types of skills, actually. There's hard skills, which are those fundamental skills that are repetitive that you have to learn and have to repeat, such as learning how to use a bow on a violin and play certain notes. Experts agree it takes between 10 and 17,000 hours to master a hard skill. Now, there's also soft skills. Soft skills are those skills that change with the environment and the situation, such as making music. And those take years and years of reflective experience to develop and are also based on talent to help you guide through. Now, how do you develop skills? I can't begin to go over everything Daniel Coyle has discovered in his books. He has two fantastic books I highly, highly recommend. I would consider him the Napoleon Hill of skill building because he went and studied over the centuries the hotbeds of the highly skilled and found invaluable insights and nuances. Now let's go back to my son, Roman. He had this unbelievable inspiration for selling, this incredible talent of persuasion. You see how those go together? And now he's working on marketing skills, selling skills, negotiation skills, advertising skills. What skills does your child need to develop? What skills do you need to develop? Now let's take this to a real life example. Your son comes home or your daughter with the following grades, an A in science, an A in math, a C in English, and an F in history. I can hear the ooze out there. Gallup, a research company, asked this question of parents. Which grade deserves most attention from you? 77% of the parents said the F. The truth of it is, are you really going to find inspiration in that F? Are you going to find applied talent? And without inspiration and talent, how do you ever use skills that you've acquired? No, to really help that child, because, you know, we have to get that F up. We're a remedial system, aren't we? You need to study the A's, because there's where the answers are. There's where the inspirations are. There's where the applied talents are. There's when they use their skills properly. Is it the teacher? Is it the subject? Is it the way they approach things? What is it in those A's that makes the difference? A couple years ago, I was at an event and ran into a father and a son. Father's name was Tom, son's name's Bobby. Bobby's sad. I said, Bobby, what's wrong? He goes, oh, got my report card today. And his father, Tom, goes, yeah, he sure did. Tell Mr. Smith what you got. Uh, well, I got an A in science and an A in math and a C in English and an F in history. Yep, and he's grounded until he gets that F up. I said, Tom, do you mind if I ask your son a question? Go right ahead. I said, Bobby, you ever watched, launched a model rocket? No. I said, would you like to? He goes, oh, that'd be really cool. I said, how about you and your dad go to the store and buy a model rocket kit? And as you get that grade up, as you work on that grade, you start building that rocket. And when that grade gets nowhere it needs to be, you two launch that rocket. Guess what happened? They built that rocket. They launched that rocket. And through his inspiration of wanting to fly one, there was applied talent of discipline that they discovered that he naturally had of scheduling times to study and through those skills of note-taking and learning that he'd acquired over the years. Bobby learned how to reach the stars. It's time. Be a launch pad. Thank you.